You're listening to The Real Short Box, a comic book podcast made for geeks by geeks. Hello, everyone in podcast land. Welcome to The Righteous Real Short Box. My name is Dr. Kevin, and with me is my co-host, Oh, yeah, I'm Donald. It's a pleasure, pleasure to be here. Thank you. And we have four special guests on our special panel tonight. We have, we have the Duke of New Hall, Julio. We have the Sensational One. We have Walter 818. And we have, last but not least, Sunshine Raphael. Sunshine. Sunshine. All of a sudden, showtime. When I, yeah. Well, I, I I call him Sunshine. When I see him, he brings such sunshine to the room. Jesus oh, God! It looks yeah, like he's been in the sun so, too long. <laughs> so this is another episode of Comic Shop Talks, guys. Yes, it is. The and Comic the, Coalition. The, Here yes. at We Can Be Heroes in Chatsworth, California, home to comics, toys. And uh, big shiny rubber dildos, from what I understand. Exactly, whoa, whoa, exactly. whoa! I don't know about that. It must yeah, be in the talking room. about David that way. In, in the oh, back. Let's, yeah. let's be honest. David in the back. Let's be honest. Greatest shop in town. Greatest shop in town. Greatest shop in town, if not town, in the entire state of California. I must add. Could Thank be. you. Appreciate Could it. Be. I appreciate it. Appreciate not it. Even the best A store. On this street. <laughs> oh, you know what, Walter eight one eight. You need to leave this table yeah, right now. There's I'm... a CBS that sells comic books. It's <laughs> oh, fucking Walgreens, bro. Oh come on. <laughs> yeah, it is a Walgreens. That's even worse. So what are we talking about today, fellas? What is the exciting thing that well, gets, gets your blood pumping? Well, I read. Um, we get something coming up. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's torpedo well, con. We're gonna oh, do. Yes. Oh, we're gonna talk about that. Torpedo we're gonna con. talk about a bunch of stuff. But you go ahead with what you wanted to say. No, no. You go ahead. You go ahead. Well, yeah. torpedo con's coming uh, very, 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 very soon. Like next, next week. Uh, it's like right now. <laughs> it's right now, according oh, to this recording. Man, right it now. is happening right now. Oh my oh. god! We're at Torpedo Con. I, I, I'm excited. We're at, right outside. Yeah. You will not believe the deals are giving out. All right. Yeah. 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 No, but seriously, like uh, we'll be going there very soon, and uh, it's kind of exciting and scary a little bit, I think, for a lot of people, just because this will be like the two first years. big convention. Two years. Yeah, in almost two years. For uh, you know, since COVID, like, what do you, what do you, you know? You know how nerds are. They don't bathe. They don't. Uh, they they eat uh, and and don't wash their hands mm-hmm. after they scratch their ass. And there's a lot of ass are most of the time. Are you saying that there's people out here for the last two years that haven't bathed? Um, be I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm betting sure. you they've been saving that stank. That is I know scary. there's some that haven't shaved or cut their hair at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, they're cats and caveman over there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but here's here's the uh, the real question, right? First con that we're all going to be at at some point, right? Mm-hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. What do you expect? Like, what do you like? Are you expecting it to be something that we've that you've seen before, or are you expecting it to be a total cluster of, of people trying to, or do you think it's the shops taking advantage of yes. the fact that first con and selling things at like some unrageable market? Yes, and that's yeah. what that I expect to see. That is very likely a possibility because I, yeah. we saw what happened on Instagram sales. We yeah. see what's happened on eBay. I mean, COVID has caused a huge spike in prices. Exactly. And yeah. I, I think, and, and well, what was it? That last Torpedo Con was two years ago? Yes, sir. There, and it was right before Comic-Con. So all the books were priced ready to go to Comic-Con. So they were like already that 20% markup already. They weren't going down on any prices. There wasn't any good deal. So hopefully that'll be different this year, but I seriously doubt it. No, I, I think you're right. I think everybody's – you're going to have some uh, that are going to do, like, what, what would you be calling kind of counter-programming. So they're going to bring their dollar books, mm-hmm. and that's that's going to be the smart money. That's for all right. the people that are like, I'm not paying that. You know, right. how much for a first king? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like right. that kind of shit. Uh, because then all the other ones are going to be bringing their books and they're going to be marking those motherfuckers Especially up. Especially Ultimate Fallout 4. Two years ago, you know, maybe it went for, what would you say, 150 thought, bucks maybe? No, four, bucks. four years ago? No, no, two years ago. Two years ago, it was a $148 book. Yeah. There we yeah, go. Somewhere you know, like, no, no, it's, it, it's, it's, I think the, 
Yeah, maybe. I'm sure, it's, especially with CGC, you know that. No, but two years ago, no, yeah, but uh, yeah, four hundred, I think, was but the, the last. But the 98 has ex- actually the the Ultimate Fallout Four has actually dropped a little bit. It's yeah, dropped a little bit. and yeah, honestly, we we were at the uh, dollars. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, actually from three actually. Yeah, it was. We were at the uh, what was the um, the one in Sim? Was it in Simi or Santa Clarita? Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita show. We saw one second print. That was all we saw, and then I, I've been to like maybe five or six different shops and maybe 10 different claim sales and I haven't seen any for sale. So I don't necessarily know if at the Twitter con you're gonna see a bunch of those books. You may see some, but I I, I don't think you're gonna see as many as you think you're gonna see. Okay, so you feel people are just scooping up as many as you yeah. can. I think yeah, people yeah, are yeah, holding those to, books yeah, they are, they and are. they're not looking to sell them just yet. Especially that they, the price has dropped. It's correct. I, I think it's correct. I don't yeah, want to see it They're waiting for that new, the new uh, multiverse movie to drop. And then you'll see a spike. However, there's a possibility you might see the second, one of the second hottest books from Miles Morales, which is now blue stuff. I, I told people where this would happen. Ultimate Comics, all, all new Spider-Man, number mm-hmm. one. Yeah. You know, it's in the white. Yeah. Uh, you know, sealed plastic. That one could be available. Well, you'll see that. You'll see those in poly bag for sale. Yes. An extreme high price. Yes, yes. And the problem is, is you're... You're buying a blind bag. Yes, you, right? don't, you don't know. You don't know what. You don't know how. It, it could have been folded five times, but the poly bag's never going to look folded. It's going to look because right. you can take you can take a steamer and steam the poly bag and it'll look fucking perfectly That's fine. True. And the book inside can be shit. Tell people what I do. Bro. Whoa! <laughs> and unless you have shady, bro, shady. And if you unless you have the power of an affiliate of ours, uh, Mr. Oscar, actually opening up that bag and able to make it look nice and pretty and, and beautifully, but even make condition. Yeah. clean and press. Yeah, I mean you can clean, clean and, press. and press certain things. But, but even then, but if it's a black cover and it's got spine ticks, yeah, uh, yeah. You, can do it yeah. yeah not, you know, I, I found two that black and crack. Yeah, black and crack. I found I found two in the wild for you know reasonable price and had Oscar look at them both and he pressed them both and the highest they're gonna be is like a nine two because. You can't, some of those you can't get the spine ticks out, right? You can you can you can get to the, the creases in there, but the little tick is still gonna be there. And they're like and I shot and saw one of them. I showed them. They're just like um, micro ticks, right? Mm-hmm. Where the visual eye you can't see them, but if you look closely, they're there and they're not they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Right. The CGC guys, they'll certainly pick up on it right away. Yeah, hopefully. I, I hopefully. think the, I think the books you're gonna see a lot of <laughs> debatable, <laughs> debatable. You'll see a right. lot of. Well, uh, I think you see a lot of uh, two C- X Men two sixty sixes. You'll see for sale. That's true. You'll see a lot of three uh, forties. Two sixty six. Definitely three forty. Oh my goodness! Remember, I brought my three forty in to show you. Uh, What's the sensational one? And you were quite impressed. X Men three forty. No, no, no. Hulk three forty. Hulk, Hulk oh, three forty. That's the famous McFarlane cover with mm-hmm. the gray Hulk's reflection. Yeah, that one. And you know, and being it's Torpedo Con, and and they're having their, their uh, they're having like Jim Lee, and you'll see a lot of X Men one uh, slabs there. Yeah, X Men fours. Yeah. Oh X-Men my God. X Men fours, yeah. X Men fives. Well, you're gonna X-Men see a lot ones. of people that bought, overpaid for those fucking X Men fours. They're gonna be like, oh, man, yeah. I gotta make some money on these. Oh, they're gonna yeah. be trying yeah. to sell yeah. that shit yeah. Yeah. so high. Same as uh, Silver Surfer threes. X Men ones. Oh man, yeah, X-Men Silver Surfer threes. A load of X Men. But I'm expecting a lot of Star Wars books. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Random ass Star Wars books. The original Marvel, the Dark Horse stuff, uh, the new Marvel. And turtles. I'm expecting. I tell you, I tell you, you I tell you what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a lot of last Ronin graded sign 9.8, 9.9s yeah. on the walls for sale. Cause oh yeah. A lot, there's a lot. Of, a huge submission of books. Yeah. Um, you won't see uh, TMT one uh, if first you do, print. Maybe you'll see one if you're lucky. If Man, you're I remember lucky. when we'd walk to a convention and you could see Raphael number one like for. 40 bucks, yeah. 80 more, bucks, yeah. like just a couple years ago. Yeah. So cheap. Now so it's yeah, like I, I bought book. one. I bought one, and, and like I could have bought, I was with you, Sean, and we went to Simi Valley, yeah. and I bought it, and he was like, and again, you're going to get another one of those? Don't you have another one of those? It was 40 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Best deal ever. Yep. Smart. Smart yeah. to pick that stuff up when you can. Also, the will see uh, ASM's 361, you know, first carnage. That'll probably be another uh, potential. Right. right, book we'll see for sure, because uh, you know Carnage is heating up. We got that movie coming out later this year, if I recall. Let there be Carnage. Am I right about yeah. that? Let there be well, Carnage. I think that's what the sequel is. Is that what it's Venom. called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let there be Carnage. Venom Two. Let there be Carnage. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking that's, of which, there probably be a lot of three hundreds. Absolutely. Yeah, coming absolutely. out in uh, uh, Yeah, there's definitely somebody there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, that's know. coming out in uh, September, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's coming out in September. You know, you know. I think what you will see, though, I think what you will see is you're going to see. I think a lot of manga 
I think oh. I'm starting to see a lot of people post in their uh, claim sales a lot of manga. That's because uh, manga has all the all the talent right now. The better artists mm -hmm. and the better writers are all doing manga. Yeah, and they're killing it. Wait, like One Punch Man killing it. Uh, My Hero that? Academia. My Hero Academia is killing it. Zombie Slayer is killing it. Uh, Goblin Slayer, uh, Redo of Healer. So you're saying Brian Michael Bendis is writing manga now? You he, said one of the best. Brian Michael Bendis is in no. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no. Okay, but my, I'm sorry. My, but my hero is the one. I mean, <laughs> so, <laughs> Umbrella Academy is that considered a, a, a form of manga or no? No, no, no. It's no, no. 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 It's a comic book. And how old is that book? Umbrella Academy? Yeah. At least oh, ten years old. Right? No, more years than old. ten years 15 old. Fifteen years old. Mm -hmm. like yeah, close to fifteen. Yeah, years it's old. older than the people reading manga. Yes. It's true. What about Ghost in the Shell? Is that manga? Yeah, Ghost in the Shell is, is manga. Also, we have a seventh member who just decided to come into our podcast. Let me introduce to you the gross man himself. He is known as Aiden, the New York Dream. He was, Aiden, uh, who here works at uh, Wikibee Heroes, is um, like a sixth member of New, uh, New Kids on the Block. He just, you've never seen him on camera. He's a sixth man. Yeah, he writes all the jingles. They put, me in, they put me and Coach on four Well, then inches. sing on something inches. then, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say you only got four inches? No, I said they put me in on fourth and inches, Coach. Wow. <laughs> First down. Jeez. They, put they, they put me in with four inches, Coach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in his butt. Ah, so you're fully <laughs> erect when you go in. I see. Okay. One thing we have to mention, I think we might see some 80s books there. You know, I, I thank the good Lord for my Thunder Oh, you one. think you might see some 80s books there? Oh, yeah. Oh, 80s, yeah. That's 80s, like, 80s cartoons books to be exact. I think comic cartoons. books are Star worth money. 80s cartoons books to be exact. I mean, Star, Star one, Comics. Star Comics. Star Comics, Thundercats 1, Silver Hawks 1, yeah. Transformers 1, Oh yeah. So, that's, so this leads into a perfect segment. The, the segment is this. It, Kevin's got a, a great collection of books. All books he's gotten at very many shows that... None of us ever been invited to. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a false accusation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would never do that. Now, there's, mm -hmm. been, a, there's been a track record of Kevin uh, going to conventions or Showing going up to at shops and sales. not telling What's you. Yeah, sales. Going false to sales. This is true. Sure. one. Yeah. If anything, is the one that should be. I remember one time, nope. we were driving down in the car yeah. on our way to San Diego, and I told him, I said, I'm looking for this book. And I was like, I really want this book. And he's like, oh. And what, what's, what's, a, what's it about? And I told him the history of the book, and he's like, oh, that sounds great. Motherfucker goes down there and buys the only copy there at the convention ahead of me. And gives it to you. No! <laughs> he kept it. First of all, he kept it. This, false, this, this is false. Yeah. Yeah. So, now, so now when I go down, he's like, what are you looking for? I'm like, uh... I'm looking for a Superman, uh, the when he turns blue, you know, the electric red and blue. I'm looking for a copy of that. Blue He's like, oh, really? I want a near mint plus. Really interesting. One. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, what yeah, now I'm this? leading him away from my this is, source. This my is what ideas. we call uh, we call a uh, friend etiquette. Is what, what yeah. Really calls what it. is friend? friend yeah, friend etiquette at yeah. conventions and shows. What do you what do you think? What would you do if you got a? Do you tell somebody when there's a sale that you just heard of? Do you tell your friends? How would I know there's a sale at a show? There's no, no sale. No, no, no. I'm talking like a sale or show okay, or something like, like that. Like, like let's say like, that there's an estate sale right. coming up and and you heard, you were told that it's going to be great. Would you tell your friends or would you be like, no, oh, I'm going to get that information go. to myself yeah. and I try to hit up the person before this. They sell now, the estate sale. There you go. You need to hang out with yeah. Kevin Moore. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Every time there's a show, Kevin always tells me about the show. It's two weeks after it's over, but he tells me. <laughs> Brother, you didn't know about that show? Yeah. Not everybody knew. It was the greatest show ever that I ever went to. Yeah. I wish you could have been there. You know, you call... You, call, you, call, life, you, call, you don't want to tell the, all the listeners now, Scott, everything you like, don't don't burn out. Like, like a, say, no, I get it. You don't, don't burn out anyone. to anyone else, so but your friends. Spot. You want to go to your bar, the show. You go, you no, 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 no. You gotta, but you got to have your people. You got to let them know. Because if I tell you... Then you gonna tell me, so we're always in the know, right. you know, and, and you know we're in the know because Kevin tells us, you know, a year later, but we're in the know. We're actually just a no for him. Yeah. Plus, yeah. In the know. strategically, you can use your friends to spot block at the shows. Yeah, yeah. it's That's true. That's very true. I remember when Kevin started spotting. It was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. How have you grown? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, do you have any gentlemen 
Do you have any of these 80s cartoons book that you're hunting, hunting down for yourself? Now, of course, maybe Tweedo County would be a bad place to do this, but in particular, are you interested in any of these uh, hot 80s cartoon properties? Uh, no. Oh. I mean, no. I'm, I'm not. I you mean, were selling uh, Transformers on the claim Yeah, and I, I have a couple copies. I don't need Is an extra one. Is it TMT not an 80s show? Yeah, but I, I yeah. have every. I, so I've you walk into it. you walk into a convention, yeah. and there's a Turtles one yeah. at a phenomenal price. You're not buying it. Sure, yes, six hundred oh, bucks. Go. Turtles one. You're not true. Dude, but he's yeah, telling yeah, the truth because I'm a I'm a smart man. Yes, you are. Yeah, but how many times has an 80s book that you're interested walk in here and it didn't go to your house? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not, not many, not many. Come on. Nah, Come many. on. Not Busted. Many. You're like the, you're, 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 Thundercats is where it's at. That and Inspector Gadget. Isn't that the original? Not a comic book. Yeah, I don't think it's a comic, is it? It, it, it might, it it might have been there for a little bit. Was, I it was. You weren't even born yet, young man, when they, these things came out. Okay, well, but what? I did, uh, I did my research. We'll go to, go to Walter. What's yours? What's your favorite 80s cartoon? I don't even know if I watched cartoons in the 80s since I was born in 87 or some shit. <laughs> I was saying Ninja Turtles, but that's like in the 90s. No, that's like 88, no, 89. In the 80s. In the 80s. That works. All yeah. Right, well, then yeah. That. All right. Well, I mean, if we're talking about like a property that actually has a comic book that I want, yeah, probably Turtles or GI Joe. So yeah, okay. But okay. you don't have to sell issues. Oh, excuse me, Walter. <laughs> GI Joe works. But, uh, but uh, I mean, uh, that said, Simpsons. I like the Simpsons a lot. Oh, I think cool. The Simpsons are something that can. It has. You know, oh, there's a lot of nostalgia there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Like. As soon as that's off the air, people are going to start like. Absorbing that material. It's never gone off the air. That yeah, and Law and Order are going to we'll, go we'll on all be forever. Six feet under by the time that thing goes yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I always uh, thought it was strange that Law and Order went off the air right before it was going to beat uh, Gunsmoke's record. Yeah, it was weird. Like, it had one more season, I think, mm -hmm. and it would have beat it. Yeah. 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 Well, SVU broke it. Did SVU finally uh, SVU, break yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're they're going to be on for like I think I think they're renewed for like the twenty fourth. South Park oh, broke wow. it too. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's different. We're talking dramas like, yeah. and stuff. But. I, I think as far as cartoon books, I'm a big turtle guy. So, But I'm not looking for any more turtle books. I mean, if something you know, falls in my lap, then yeah, I'll, I'll take it, of course. But yeah. I, I think that probably Mask. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mask. That's a good one. That's yeah, a good one. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, and I hope one day they do something with it. I would love to see like a new animated show. I don't want to see a movie. I don't think a movie would ever be good. Hmm. Uh, I think Liam Neeson being the the lead bad guy would be great. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah, Miles. Yeah, Ma Ma Miles Mayhem. Miles yeah. Mayhem. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd, it'd be, that'd be good. Did you see his last movie? Which one? Ice Road. Oh <laughs> no, but that's on Netflix now. <laughs> oh, you gotta watch it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, my, my three year old loved it. Maybe I'll start it tonight. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> trucks, big, big trucks, <laughs> big trucks. All it's right. Ice fall. Oh, he was losing his mind. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. But uh, yeah, big trucks. Now I'm curious about something. I don't yeah. know if any of you fellows finished the uh, Loki show. I just I no, no spoilers, no spoilers. No, dude. Uh, why, I, I, why you gotta do this? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. only saying just because of certain things that have been speculating over the uh, past. Well, since Loki's been off the air for at least three weeks now, and it's after spoiler? Torpedo Con, spoiler? we can't. You Not know, a spoiler, but just you know, certain mm -hmm. characters. You know, talk about time if travel. Was a King the Conqueror book. I'd say keep on. Keep no spoilers, damn it. Did you not hear the conversation? The King of Conquer book. That would be a good time Don't to worry, he's not speaking loud enough into the mic. Mm -hmm. anyway. I know right. Donald, I believe, has various Kane issues. I know he talked about I've been for collecting. Years. Well, me and him, we've been collecting Kane for years. He actually won up me one day. We were at a friend's shop, DJ's Universal Comics, and it was his box that he was taking to the first Torpedo Con. And we were going there, and I pulled out a Havoc. Uh -huh. First person, I'm like, oh, look, dude, the Havoc. And he, he, he kept on going and pulled out the Kang. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I, I, I want that. And Sean's like, no, I'm going to get this. This is my 600th copy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like this, nice, uh, Donald. 
<laughs> I mean, uh, I mean uh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like his uh, wow. sh- the Shang Chi, all his multiple Shang Chi yeah. book copies. Yeah. Stop giving away my secrets, Kevin. <laughs> I'm sorry, sensational. Why, why don't you just give away my address and how to get into my apartment? As a matter of fact, I think I'll do that right now. For, for all you want to know, you, you know, for 1995. Dumpster, <laughs> hey, listen, dumpster number ten, right? <laughs> <laughs> Behind the Radisson. <laughs> what's, the what, what's your favorite what's your cartoon favorite book? Yeah, what were you watching battle? when you were 20? 80, Sorry. In eighties, I was watching the Godzilla. Like, what do you like? What else was there? You know, Godzilla for, comics. I mean, no, it's, it's, you said. Cartoon shows. You said oh, cartoons. Did, did it, they had a cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. That was the 90s. Wow. No, 80s. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 89. For me, it was like Godzilla, Gundam, and if it wasn't, if it was that, Transformers. That had to be Transformers. Did you ever watch Rambo? Yeah. Rambo was the shit in the Freedom See, Fighters. Oh, oh, my God. Cool. Yeah. See, what I look at is, what I, I look at his comic yeah. and cartoons at the same time. One of my favorite number. I think I have like 13 copies of Godzilla number one, just because that's like whenever I see it. Even though I know I have one, I gotta have it because it's just some, it's some, like one of my oh, favorite yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you his know? catcher in the rye, mm-hmm. keeps it in his back right. pocket. Whoa! You got a problem, man. I yeah. was that way with Ted Court, first Ted Court. I don't know if you guys know, but I created a web series called The Blue Beetle Ted Court Returns. The it's worst on comic book. That before? Wait, I, I, I hey, was not hey, in the series. I don't say this often on your, on, on your show, but trash. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just because you weren't in it. I'm sorry. Trash. I didn't know you. You didn't know his existence. Right. Oh, I'm just talking about, I'm talking about Blue Beetle in general. Oh. But anyway, I get like I would get a copy every time I'd see it. It usually be like ten bucks, ten twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. It was cheap, cheap, cheap. And then I had a, a, amassed a, a small collection, like five, I think, four or five of them or something. And then it started to like rise up, like a hundred to two hundred dollars and stuff. And that's when uh, Jarrett, who's also uh, in the podcast, he wanted a copy. And he's like, I need a copy of that. So I sold him. Generously. I was like, I was like, if I have four more copies, I was like, I will sell you one. So you I were very generous. I hit to the fourth, and I was like, okay, I'm going to sell it to you. And I think I sold it to him for like 50 bucks or yep, something. Yeah, very generous. So I made a little profit, but not much, and he got yeah. a hell of a deal on it. So, you know, I, I try not to keep too many of those Sucker. things. Sucker. But I do <laughs> like to have a, a good amount of something I really like. Right. Okay, so that's a good question for me, now that we've, we've gotten there, is you go to buy a book. And the mm-hmm. book is you're buying it from either a shop that you know or someone you know really well. And the book is worth, let's just say, 100 bucks. the book's uh-huh. worth, right? What percentage do you pay for that book? Because do you say, He's my, I'm, you know, we're friends, I'm going to give you the full value of that book. Or do you say, look, man, I'm not going to sell it. But if I did, I want to make some money. So I can't pay you $80. I can't pay the full 100 I got to pay you 70 to give me some wiggle room in case I got to get out of the book. That's fair. I, I, I think the wiggle room is fair, cool, yeah. you know. Because you you buy books from people all the time. I mean, you, you're you the like one of the better guys that telling a guy, hey, I'm going to give you two bucks for a giant box, and they feel like they gave you. They <laughs> That's like, not I true. got him. I got him. I got $2 yeah, out of this guy. That's not true. No, I mean, you give them fair deals. What I'm saying is what I'm, tr- what I'm trying to get at is we all buy books from either each other or someone we know. And what do you do then? Like, what it, it's different. Like, if I'm buying for the the business, I, I always got to think about overhead. Uh, but if I'm buying from somebody, you know, I try to get as close as I possibly can, or, or uh, actually what I can personally afford. So if somebody says a hundred bucks, and I'm like, ah, I will say I'm, I'm more comfortable paying seventy or seventy five. Would you be cool with that? And then you, you negotiate from there. You know? But but it's but because it's, you got to have room to get out of the book if you uh, need to. If I'm buying something personal. At least for me, it, it, it's you know, it's personal, so I, I don't mind. Yeah, but how many times have you buy a book that's personal at, like, say, a mid-grade, but a book at a high-grade comes up, and you're like, the best way to get into that book is mm-hmm. by selling this book for cheaper? Yeah, it, it happens. I, I just I don't mind having multiple copies of things. Which leads me to another question. You know, when you buy books off of, you know, potential customers. Oh, my, my animated series that I would like, by the way, would be uh, Transformers. Just in case <laughs> anybody gave a no shit. No one gives a shit. Well, no, wait, wait, no, hold on here. I never gave mine. You said Blue Jesus. Beetle. You, you said, said Blue Beetle. Beetle. Yeah. Animated series. Isn't yes, that a fucking Blue, Blue Beetle, Beetle, Beetle animated series? And there will never I be. Mean, That's <laughs> that might have been the one. That would have been the one way that book would have made any money if it went animated. Because yeah. live action was horrible, trash. Oh, with, but the web series, however, the web oh, series. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know. There's a lot to be desired. Blue Beetle Ted Cord returns. It's on YouTube. You can check it out Three right seasons. now. Three seasons. Three full seasons. Yeah. Yeah, four, actually. Four, four, I was going to say four. Yeah. Lost one. Four, eight. Yeah. Lost one. Eight. Lost eight. Lost four seasons. The worst four seasons. No. 
Oh man. my goodness. Kevin does a Four lot of Four years drugs. and you're no, just so getting started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Well, uh, we, were Being talking, in debt. we were talking earlier about etiquette. I happened to have uh, seen um, a sign oh, the other day. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. I, do uh, it. On, a, on a post uh, that read, uh, it was above their back issues, and it said, to due to the nature of the speculator's market, we reserve the right to check and reprice any and all back issues according to current going value. Wait, do you have that story. on your phone? Show sure, Kevin. Yeah, here. Check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was a post. I saw this right over your books. That's <laughs> you see, I have something to say about that. That's disturbing because when you go into a store, you think yeah. you might be getting a good deal, but all of a sudden they're going to take your books. Okay, hold on one second, sir. Let me check eBay. Let me check eCollector app. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. There I'm was so a, sorry. I have to charge you a lot more. There was a dude in Ohio. Uh, Jeff Harper was his name. I remember this. And Jeff. It was a Jeff Harper production. He was the guy that did all the shows in, in the small areas in Ohio. Like he did Canton and Akron and stuff like that. Sometimes Cleveland and stuff. Um, and he would do the smaller shows at like the Radisson or the Sheraton or something. Mm -hmm. And he had uh, his own booth there every time. You know, he would have a booth and I think it would be him and his wife or his girlfriend or something. And they didn't price anything. So he was the one that had the convention and brought everybody in and stuff. And he was the worst one to deal with because none of his books were priced. Hmm. They were all, you just had to ask him and then you know what he would do? He would pull out the Wizard magazine. Oh boy, the one, the Wizard? The Wizard, dude. Oh my God. And he would go according to the Wizard. And I remember it was like an Untold Tales of Spider-Man like issue that I needed. And it was whatever, it was like issue four or something like that. I just needed to complete my run of the entire series and he had it. And I was like, uh, how much? And he's like, oh, 10 bucks. And I was like, Jesus Christ, it's a 99 cent book. It's not popular, you know, that popular. Um, so he refused it's to a use filler it. issue. And I was like, could you like go lower? I was like, can you do like six? And like, he thought about it for the longest time. It was like, I was hurting one of his children. You mm -hmm. know, he was like, I don't know. And then, you know, he pulled off to the side, him and the girl, and then they were talking about it. And you could see that there was like some type of verbal like argument thing taking place and they were moving around and stuff and then he eventually comes back over and he's like all right i can do six and i think it was because she was like probably like look that kid's poor yeah look at him he's obviously poor yeah. just give it to him for six it's not worth anything or, or she, she probably, needed to get meth later and, she probably and said, six bucks is she probably six said, bucks. look we haven't made one fucking sale take yeah. this six fucking dollars i want a fucking big mac from across the street <laughs> right yeah. six dollars so no. then so they could, could consult the holy text of comic book text known as the over street instead they had to go straight over to the wizard trash book. yeah yeah over street was, uh, was probably not even an over we street. had a we yeah. had a guy probably not at the time we had we had a uh, one of our uh, one of the regulars from we can be heroes went to and this is one of sean's favorites but went to collector uh collectors right mm -hmm. um and was buying a wolverine one and it was priced at whatever on the cover that little you know i just oh, had price. a price on it okay and he walked up the counter and went to pay for it and the guy says oh hold on for a second his and he went to the went over to the side and started and, and then you know sitting there wa waiting for the guy the guy comes back and the guy tells him oh it's 120 bucks he says what do you mean it's got 30 dollars oh yeah yeah but this book's gotten hot i just checked it's 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 at this much price this way, but it's already on the. It's already you already, already priced it for me. 30. He's like, yeah, no, I understand. He goes, but I have to check the market to make sure that this, it's the going rate. The going rate is this. I got to charge you this now. See, after is my point. You and know, he like, literally just said, you know, f you. I'm not fuck you. I'm not gonna pay you that. I'm gonna pay what's on the book. Yeah. And me and Hulu have had this conversation, and we don't know what the, the true law is, but we believe that if you walk up and it's priced thirty dollars, they're it. obligated no, that, to. I to, think to, I think that that's law. It. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I, I'm pretty sure that. There's some sort of law about sticker law or something about something. And we appreciate uh, we appreciate you all for tuning in to The Real Short Box. Uh, again, uh, this has been wonderful. So thank you for tuning in to, uh, to part one of our, of our um, comic shop talks here. Uh, well, actually, it's technically going to be, what, would be part three. Probably part if three. If you think about point. it. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we'll just go with part three. And, uh, and go from there because, uh, yeah, we really appreciate you guys. And, and you can find us on YouTube under Rumble Spoon Productions on there. Also find us on Spotify. Mm -hmm. And Spreaker and uh, iHeartRadio and Amazon Podcast now as well. Oh, wonderful, oh. wonderful. Yeah, so we've expanded. Yes, it does. Amazon has everything. Eventually, they're going to yep. own this shop. They're going to own all of us eventually. Buy, uh, Amazon, what is it? Bezos wants to buy this fucking uh, place. He can. And he keeps <laughs> asking me uh, if it's for sale. No problem. So thank you for tuning in. If we don't see you out and about anytime soon, we, we will see you 
at the delightful, elegant, and most friendly comic book shop. This has been The Real Short Box. We'll see you at the comic shop. Thanks for listening. Thank <laughs> you.